In this video, sponsored by Lancaster Insurance, um, it really is time for that final push for the MOT. And yes, it is absolutely perishing again, hence the coat. So after a few days away, I'm back. I can crack on with what's needed. There's lots I'd like to do, uh, lots of um, jobs that are on the second level of to-do, like fitting the mesh to, behind the grill there. That's on the to-do list, um, but that's second tier. Um, uh, what else was there? Um, painting the rear body. Yes, yes. Uh, I've bought some paint, because I bought some white paint and then decided I didn't want to do it. Um, in um, the, that colour, I thought black would be better, as many of you have suggested. But um, yeah, it's um, absolutely chucking it down and freezing. Uh, well, it's not actually freezing, but it is below 10 degrees centigrade, which is pretty chilly. Uh, do need to fit the rear number plate. But yeah, the main thing today, I will need a fog light as well, because she's built after April 1980. Uh, the main thing today is see if we can get the um, indicators and hazard lights working. Uh, priority number one is to get the switch out, the hazard light switch, um, sighted there next to the steering wheel, it's the middle of those three switches, and um, we'll just check the contacts on the back and see if cleaning those makes any difference whatsoever, um, because we really do need those to work. Well, actually, technically we don't. If I can't get the hazard lights to work, I can take the switch out, and because she was built before 1986, she doesn't technically need hazard lights. So there's, there's various bodgy options. Um, another thing I must do is fit the um, choke cable. Um, so um, yeah, I think we need to be in there really. It's a bit dark in here, but um, we'll give it a go. And I've managed to lose the screwdriver I had in my hand. There we go. I'm sitting on it. It looks like you should be able to Oh, yeah, that's not the way to do it. I can push it through from behind. Ah, oh, there we go. Yep. There we go. There's the hazard. Oh, well, there's one wire seemingly not attached. Um, could it be as simple as that, I wonder? Um, I need to go and open the bonnet. Right, we're getting somewhere. Um, that's the main feed in. So if I jump a paper clip up there, and take this, the connector, to the left-hand indicator, we get life. So that's that proves the wiring is okay, which suggests the problem is probably at the switch itself. Um, I'm not sure what should be connected where on here. I know the power goes there. Um, green and white. Oh, which one's green and white? There's a green and white there, and there's a green and white elsewhere. And a, a plain green, I'm not sure which one that is. Let's try that one there. No, that's right only. Let's try it on that one then. Aha! That might just be it. So it might have been just a switch wired up incorrectly. Let's go and have a peek. Sorry for the extreme close-up of my face. Yeah, that is peculiar. Let's go and see what's going on at the front end, because that's not what I was expecting. We've got both working at the front. That's very strange. I don't think there are separate wires for front and rear. Hmm, I might have to go and grab the keys and put the ignition on and make sure that that bulb hasn't just died because that's the sort of thing that can happen. Right, I've switched back to the vlog camera because um, I found the problem in here, in this indicator stalk. Um, you'll see the um, two prongs. Those are the indicator selectors and uh, they hit little pins. Um, uh, which you can just about see that one's resting on. Unfortunately, they're not being held very well because can, can you see just above my thumb, the plastic has broken. Um, so that's why the stalk's malfunctioning. Uh, there's not a lot I can do about that, I don't think. Um, it's really not designed for coming apart. It's all um, riveted together. So um, 
I could try and get a bit of super glue in there, but I don't think I can get sufficient clamping force on it to hold it together to set. And I think, to be honest, it would just snap again anyway. So um, I'm going to see if I can get another stalk. The wiper stalk is off um, a 1980s BL product, Mini or Metro, um, early Metro, before the facelift. Whereas the indicator stalk is off um, a 70s BL product, Mini, or um, they were also fitted to the Robin Mark 1. Uh, so it's not even the right stalk. So um, I think I'm going to order up uh, a replacement stalk that fits the correct fittings and hopefully that's all still wired in. Um, but that explains the scotch locks and everything underneath because someone's had to bodge the wiring to fit this stalk that's now broken. So it's probably been overextended or something like that. So um, as I can't progress any further, we now have working hazard lights, but we don't have working indicators. Um, I'm going to switch to choke. So I've pulled out my universal choke cable because that didn't work. Um, I've now got the proper one. So we'll have a go at getting that fitted instead. There we go. Oh, it's a bit hard to pull because the dashboard's moving, but... Oh. And lock. Or maybe that was locked. Let's go see what's going on. Carburetor end. That does seem to have pulled the choke open. I think it could probably open up a bit more. Um, I don't think this is entirely right, but um, it does seem to work after a fashion. Um, push the choke back in again. Yeah, do need to attach the dashboard. That might make life a lot easier. And now the choke is closed again. Beautiful. Well, that's not helpful. The bonnet hinge has just ripped out because the bonnet stay failed. Uh, the hinges ripped out of the bonnet because the fasteners were so rubbish. Oh no, they've just pulled out of the um, hinge. And uh, my hole is back. Great. All in all, that's a bit of a disaster. Ugh. I think it's probably a good idea to walk away at this point. I was trying to fit the new choke cable, which isn't fitting very well at all because I have not got the right fittings. Bah! Right, I've been to scream at the wall. Um, which has helped a, a great deal. Um, I, I don't swear on camera because um, that would be unseemly, but believe me, there was a certain amount of it. Um, I managed to get the indicator out, and um, pleasingly, as spotted by Adam, my um, Reliant Owners Club um, companion, who is very helpful with information, he pointed out someone's made a little loom, so it's got the original type connector on it. Um, so that was very good of them. They didn't butcher the loom for the indicator stalk. There's still some other weird stuff going on, but that's that. And um, I've pulled the, the um, stalk apart and you, you can kind of see the, the problem um, in here. Let's move here for some better light. Uh, the problem is that that piece there where my thumb is has cracked and you shouldn't be able to pull that off. That's a sign of how badly broken it is. So that's why the stalk isn't working, which is why that's now rubbish and can go in the rubbish pile along with pretty much everything else in the garage. Um, so I'm going to order up a new indicator stalk. A genuine one is 60 quid and I can't get any cheaper than that. So that's a bit disappointing. And um, yeah, I, I need to order up a fog light as well. It'd be nice to have the original spec um, Lucas fog light, um, which um, looks, looks like that, but less broken. Um, so that's what I want. Um, see if I can find one of those. Oh, it's got a part number on it. Series 318. That could be useful. Um, so um, time to get shopping. And um, yeah, bit of a short one this time around because um, things have gone so very, very badly wrong. And I've sort of got the choke 
working but now I can't refit the center of the dashboard that mounting lug has snapped off the dash that one doesn't seem to want to connect and um, you can't really easily pull the choke on because the whole blowing thing works it's just one of those days and these do happen when you're working on cars when nothing goes right I think I'm going to completely re-engineer the front end I think I've had enough of these stupid hinges and I've certainly had enough of this flimsy bonnet today Look at that dancing around there, ready to jump into the battery at some point and cause exciting fire. So that can go. Throw that away. Uh, I will disconnect the battery. I need to sort out a better clamping solution because that was meant to be temporary and I have a horrible feeling it'll last forever. But yeah, you can see this is now all knackered again. And uh, I think a better solution might be to mount bonnet pins on here and the pins will come through the bonnet perhaps near the original bonnet holes that would always be good or maybe I should make new holes so I can reinstate the proper hinges at some point should I feel the need and then I can lift the entire bonnet off which I think is a much better idea this forward tilting bonnet is um, I mean it's very flimsy and weak as we are demonstrating by having it falling off and um, it also gets completely in the way it blocks your access to the engine from here because there's a bonnet in the way so I think we're going to go for a solution where that comes off but um, yeah not quite how this video was meant to pan out so all a bit disappointing and uh, all the more disappointing because we've got Fox and t-shirts now um, here they have arrived we're going to launch them at the Bromley pageant so really Fox and needs to be there I'm going to have to crack on and get her sorted out and um, yeah I should go and order some bits now to hopefully help make that happen but yeah all a bit disappointing but this is what happens when you muck about with old cars it never goes swimmingly all the time and um, yeah that you don't have to make your own jeopardy as they so often do in the world of TV sure enough a project will develop it as it goes along um, so yeah we are, we are less than two weeks from Bromley and this is not the state of affairs I hope to see. I even ordered some um, paint. Look, um, I thought I'd go for some external paint for the um, hard top sitting out here behind me. Uh, but I'm never going to get a chance to paint it while it's raining like this. So I will not guarantee that will get painted before Bromley. We shall um, have to see what happens. But I think I will call an end to proceedings at this point. Um, it really is time to walk away from the garage. Uh, so I'll order a new indicator stalk, um, a new fog light, and um, we shall take it from there. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe before you go. Don't forget the Hubnut merch. We can buy all the Hubnut goodies, including beanie hats. They're lovely and warm, and um, which is annoyingly necessary here in June. And yeah, I shall see you in a future video that hopefully has a bit more success in it. Farewell.